Hi guys, I am literally watching cops, so let me mute that for you. Ugh, I am so busy doing laundry and doing dishes and making sure my service animal is okay. He is down there, over there, pouting. I uh, took him on a walk, got the mail, did normal household chores. Um... Still have no clue what I'm going to do for dinner. I know we have chicken. Still have no idea how I'm going to do that. Um, I do every once in a while. I'm going to be putting um, content up here for people just starting out to learn how to cook. Um, what to do, what not to do. Um... If you drink wine, if you don't drink wine, um, if you have some diet restrictions, um, like for example, I'm allergic to cashews, so um, I won't be doing anything with cashews. Um, my family doesn't like dates, so uh, but we just found out that we do like uh, chia seeds. So, we're probably going to use some of that. Uh, we can have eggs. Um, I do test the eggs myself uh, because we buy them from Aldi's. So, I do test the eggs. Um, we try to kind of stick to um, keto and in between keto and diabetic restrictions. Um, I am also lactose intolerant, so I can't have a whole lot of milk. So a lot of my milk and cheese is really high uh, grocery-wise. So um, I'm dealing with it the best way I can. Um, cereal, we kind of go with whatever we need for in the morning. Um, we just try and see what we can do um i know that on keto you can't have juices sugar is the devil or whatever they say me if i don't have some type of sugar in my system i end up crashing and then i end up sleeping for a few days so i don't like that because i also i know this is like just off of the top of my head, I know there's like several different subjects. So if you want to pick one, <laughs> go ahead, leave me a comment down below. Um, but uh, I will be starting up that cooking channel. Um, I'm going to try my best to keep you guys updated if you want. I am a plus size girl. No, I do not care of your rude comments. If you don't like it, please swipe away. I don't care. I do care, however, that those that do happen to like my content, please stay. I would love it if you stayed so I can get your guys' great feedback on the food that you do like and the food that you don't like, what we can substitute for your diet. Um, if you do not diet and you just like the crazy food that I make and... The oopses and uh-ohs that happen in cooking, the ones that can happen, the ones that shouldn't happen, the ones that make you bite your nails because you don't have it in your pantry. Trust me, sometimes that happens. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Everybody says you should throw your seasonings away. It depends on what it is. If it's vanilla extract, don't throw it away. All you're going to do is tip it upside down for two days. If you haven't already opened it, tip it upside down for two days and let the bottom half drain to the bottom. So actually, it'd be to the top. Then you flip it back over, shake it, leave it on the counter for a day, and then use it. But... If you're in a hurry and you have to use your vanilla extract immediately, shake it up like you would um, a shake in a bottle 
or yogurt in a bottle. Um, don't shake it too much because then you won't get the right kind and you'll just get like suds, which isn't good for vanilla extract. So you just shake it up a little bit, kind of roughly to make sure that all the stuff at the bottom, flip it over so you can see the bottom. And if it doesn't look completely black at the bottom, you're good to go. Um, at the bottom of the vanilla extract, it will look like goopy glob kind of thing, but that's a vanilla extra. That's the vanilla settling to the bottom because basically vanilla extract, all it is is vanilla bean, um, vanilla beans and basically alcohol, but the alcohol evaporates and that's how you get vanilla extract. So, um, some people add sugar in their vanilla extract. I personally don't care. Um, I know that when you cook it, it's going to cook off. So, because of all the heat and the chemicals that go along with it. So, I mean, it's just your preference on what you decide you want to do. I know this is like six minutes of ranting and raving and whatever you want to call it. But I am trying to see what kind of content you guys would like to see. Um, I am very truthful. I am very honest. Um, sometimes I'm too honest. I'm too blunt. Is what some of my friends have told me. Um, but every single one of them has told me they like my cooking. So... You know, it's up to you. These are for anybody. Um, and yes, that is a dehydrator behind me. I do have a recipe for um, for um, apple and banana chips that I happen to like. Um, mango mango chips are different. Um, they're a little bit more difficult because I like tamoy and um, tahini on mine with lemon juice. Um, and then I dehydrate them. So it actually sits one day in the tamoy and um, tahini and lemon juice. So it sits one day actually on the counter and just sits there with a bunch of mangoes. Um, and then I also make uh, fruit packs. Um, I don't buy them frozen. I buy it at the peak of freshness and I freeze it myself. I happen to, I happen to personally like that better because of the fact that um, I don't get all those extra sugars and extra, you know, we, we cooked it or froze it or all that other crud. I don't like that. Um, it's easy how I clean my vegetables and fruit. Um, I use Himalayan sea salt. I got it at Costco's for, I think, like, less than $6. And I got, like, five pounds of it. So, I use that to kind of get rid of any germs or waxes or anything like that. And I use it in lukewarm water. So, it's very, like, easy and simple to do. Um, if you want to see something like that, just comment down below if you want or something like that. It's 4.30. My light comes on at 4.30. Um, and go from there. All right. Bye, guys.